the other day I was having trouble sleeping because I had this thought in my mind. What if I make a collaborative couch multiplayer game that is playable via Twitch.tv? I got out of bed and I immediately started brainstorming what this game could look like. I came up with about three different games and I wrote them down on these 3x5 cards. The first game idea I came up with is like a matching game, so players would draw cards from a stack. You've got all the traits and then you draw the second card and if you have matching traits like both these cards are a blue card or both these cards are a character card or both these cards are a support card then then that's two of a kind and then you keep drawing cards up to like six or something and if you can get three of a kind then you win i'm like oh i could make this like a video game that people play using text uh, chat commands and i'm like oh yes i want to make this i want to make this <laughs> and so i i spent like three hours brainstorming. I was up until 4 a.m. writing down ideas for this game. And also a big problem of mine, as I mentioned in my last video, is I overcomplicate things and I take on too much. So I spent a lot of time simplifying the game to where it's not even a game anymore. It's just kind of uh, video shopping where people build decks collaboratively. And there are, there are some gamified elements like picking a card randomly. You don't get to choose a card that you want. You just pick randomly until you find one you like and if you have one you don't like you just put it back in the deck. Yeah, I'm thinking people can build whatever decks they want maybe there's gonna be like a six card limit or something and then they can check out and actually buy the physical deck. I don't know if anyone's done this it, it, like QVC might be the closest thing I can think of that is like this but I haven't seen anything on the internet that's like this. Well one I think it's just super cool to have this this idea become a, a reality and then two it's like this is an uh, this is an opportunity for another revenue stream which is a big goal of mine to increase my revenue streams. I did some searching and I found cards.js the easiest way to write card games in JavaScript. And this is a library by Einar Egilson. Let's check it out. We've got a little tutorial here with an interactive deck. You can draw cards, discard cards, as long as they're the same suit or number. I downloaded the source code of cards.js and yesterday I went through this entire code base line by line, which is not something I normally do. Usually when I work with the library, I read just enough to get to know the library and know how to use it. But this one I actually went through line by line. There were some fascinating parts of this code. Like this one. This one kind of blew my mind. There's a configured speed, which is the amount of time that a, that a card will animate. 1001. Yeah, that's about one second. And you can see the card flips over halfway through. It's face down, and halfway through it flips over. And it kind of blew my mind how they're making that happen. It's literally set timeout with the timeout configured to speed divided by two. And then the callback is the flip function. Amazing. Another thing that kind of blew my mind was the callback function that fires when the animation is done. It's not an event-based callback which happens when the animation is marked as complete. The callback is actually queued to run at the same time that the animation is queued to start. And it just so happens to be the exact same time specified in the speed variable. The simplicity blew my mind. <laughs> Here's my work in progress. I just got a deck laid out here. My plan is to modify this code base to display Precious Memories trading cards. I'll have a database that shows all the cards that I have set aside for this game and code that randomly chooses a bunch of those cards for the shopping experience. I love starting projects. This is probably like the honeymoon phase when everything is wonderful and it's like I've got all these ideas in my head <laughs> and it's probably going to get hard very soon. But I'm grateful for this project and the never-ending source of ideas that is my brain. And let's make it happen. I hope I can make an entertaining game. Yeah, this is progress report number one. Good to go.